So hi and welcome to Karma Toilet. Today I'm going to show you the latest camera from Canon. It's uh, the new Canon EOS M5. It's uh, a mirrorless camera and in my opinion the first real mirrorless camera from Canon. Compared to for example EOS M, EOS M2, EOS M3 and M10, this camera has a built-in viewfinder and it also has a fast autofocus. On the back we don't have a joystick but we have a screen instead, a touch screen that we can use instead of joystick. It works quite okay if you wear this kind of gloves, but if you use any thicker, forget about the touch screen at all. The sensor is the same kind of sensor that you can find in ESM, no, ES uh, 80D, uh, 1DX Mark. And uh, 5D Mark IV, so it will give you maybe one and, or one and a half stop extra dynamic range compared to 7D or 70D. The only time I will get the same dynamic range in my 6D or 7D is when I use Magic Lantern together with Dual ISO. So the sensor has. 24 megapixels and what more can we say about this camera yeah the grip is really nice even if I wear my gloves here I get a good grip the camera is much smaller than uh, the DSLRs from Canon but not as small as Fujifilm's X100 I really miss that camera because it was so easy to get that down in my pocket. What more can I say about the camera? Yeah, it has Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, but not built-in GPS. So, if you want GPS, you need to use your smartphone instead. And you can sync the clock together with them. And you can use the GPS in your uh, smartphone to transfer, transfer the information to get the camera. It's quite simple, actually. The camera also has a flip screen. But you can only flip it like this. Not out to the side. So, if you want to take a selfie, yeah, I can show you. If you want to take a selfie and you use it like this, then you will put the tripod or whatever you have, like here, this, and then you will not see the screen at all. So, I never use the screen like that at all, due to that. So, let's talk about the autofocus in this camera. So, it's not as fast as a DSLR from Canon, but it's not slow either. Compared to EOS M or EOS M3, it's quite fast. The best thing with this camera, and of course all the other mirrorless cameras, is that you don't need to calibrate the lenses together with this one. If you point the autofocus point to, for example, the eye, you will hit the eye with perfect sharpness. So, I'm quite happy to use my 50mm 1.4 together with this camera because it's the first time that I really can trust that lens. The burst rate of this camera is around 7 frames per second if I'm using following autofocus. And if I don't use following autofocus, I can get around 9 frames per second instead. And I can get 9 frames per second for around 2 seconds. If I'm taking pictures in RAW format, after that the buffer is filled up. And uh, the write speed of this camera should be around maybe 70 megabytes per second up to 90 megabytes per second, something around that. So use a fast card. So here in my hand I have my 50mm 1.4 lens and uh, an adapter and the camera of course. Fact is that this combination is actually 
larger than my 50 millimeter together with my 6D but it, this is much lighter the adapter I didn't got the foot for the adapter but that would be have been maybe a metal thing or it would have made the combination much bigger so maybe it's best I didn't get it at all anyway the autofocus together with this lens is quite fast and close again quite fast I know that EOS M3 and the 50 millimeter f1.4 had my major problem about finding autofocus or finding focus but as you can hear I don't have that with this combination you get it immediately and even if I put it as <laughs> nice so here on my table I do have the 7D together with the 24mm f1.4 lens and on my left side I have the new Canon EOS M5 together with the new 22mm f2 lens and as you can see the difference in size is quite big and um, this one is around a half kilo and this one is around one and a half kilo so the difference is around one kilo just choose which one you would like to carry a whole day So the build quality, for example, for this 7D is, yeah, it's built like a tank. It feels like no matter what you do to it, it will survive. Canon EOS M5 is not built like a tank. And it doesn't have any weather sealing. The flip screen doesn't really improve my thoughts of the build quality and every time I open this hatch it feels like those two thingies will break but that's not why you buy this camera you're not buying this camera to be outside in the mud or in the rain or crawling around that is not why you buy this camera you buy it because it's a smaller camera it's compatible with, together with the Canon EOS uh, um, EF lens uh, with an, this adapter that's why you buy it and you buy it because it has a face detection uh, autofocus and that you never ever will need to calibrate the autofocus. So I've read a lot on the internet about, uh, yeah, from comments, about the speed of this lens together with the camera. Um, and uh, they write that this lens is quite slow. And it's only true if you, have, if you already have focused close to, to your camera and then going something f uh, further away so for example if I focus on this lens cap here and then go to something far away one two three yeah only then you will notice the lack of speed but I mean it is quite similar with this one if I focus when 25 centimeter and go to something very far. One, two, three. You can do it again because I was a little bit slow. One, two, three. Yeah. The speed is quite similar actually. And um, I mean, if you already are focused one meter away or two meters or three meters, it doesn't really matter. It's quite fast if you're already focused far away. No problem at all, it gets focus everywhere. And then of course if you go it will take time because it's so close. The movement, yeah. And then far away, yeah. But I mean if you already have focused on something far away, yeah, you will not notice any lack of speed at all. Four days ago I did my first photo job together with this camera and uh, I liked it really much because the camera is so small. It's so light and it worked together with my Photix Odin uh, flash trigger uh, without any problems at all. Uh, the best thing about this is the face tracking feature. Um, just compose and press and uh, the, f uh, the f uh, autofocus will find the face itself. I love it. You don't need to recompose, you don't need to use different autofocus points. 
just compose and it will hit the eye and the face. So I took four days ago 160 pictures and maybe four pictures were unfocused on the eyes. The rest of the 156 pictures were perfect. So I really like the new EOS M5. No problem. So I'm going to show you a bug or a feature or whatever you call it. It's quite annoying actually. So I found this out when I was out in the middle of the night taking some pictures of the night landscape. So I was using long shutter speed and um, a big aperture and high ISO and self timer and manual focus. And um, when I pressed down the self timer, nothing happened. And um, yeah, something happened, but after two, three seconds, quite annoying. So my settings here with this camera now is five seconds f2 ISO 6400 and uh, I'm using manuals, manual settings and I'm using uh, manual focus and two seconds self timer. So I will press the button. So one, two, three. Oh, there it started. And same settings, this camera. One, two, three, immediately. And we can try this again. One, two, three. Yeah. And I was shooting in live view because it's like a mirrorless thing. If I'm not shooting in live view, yeah. One, two, three, yeah, same. Immediately response. Two, three seconds slower. I hope Canon can update that firmware. So and remove that that feature or that, that bug. Because it's really annoying during landscape photographing in the night. I will show you the Camera Connect app together with the GPS and uh, this is how it works. You go to location information and begin logging like that and you can't send location information yet. Uh, take some pictures, one, two, like that, perfect. And then send location, and then it, it says this function can only be used when you are connected via Wi-Fi. Okay, let's connect via Wi-Fi, and we can press here, and it will connect via Wi-Fi. And it will take a while, but it will connect. So if you use the GPS in your smartphone, yeah, it will drain your battery. So, and send location information. So, added. That is how it works. Just remember that for me and twice this uh, recording has stopped of itself. I don't know really why, but... <laughs> I lost some GPS data due to that. So let's check out the speed of the, the image review feature. Um, so if I press this one, let's count one, two, three. Yeah. And uh, on my 70, one, two, three. Faster reaction. We can take the 70 again, one, two, three. And on this camera, M5, one, two, three. A little bit slower. And uh, let's check out the menus here. So the menus looks like a PowerShot camera. 
and uh, if I'm not wrong, the operating system is the same as in the PowerShots cameras. I think uh, the M, M uh, yeah, EOS M and EOS uh, M2 were the last cameras that shared the operating system with the other DSLRs. And uh, we can see here that it it's not as many as the settings, it's not many as, um, for example, my 7D. Yeah, this is what what you will get with the EOS M5.